Welcome to Happy's Financial. Today, we'll learn how to save money fast with the 30-day rule. Feel the urge to splurge every time you walk into the store? Whether you love home decor, clothing, or books, we're all susceptible to the desire to buy something we may not actually need. Giving into this urge, however, can spell disaster for your budget. Now, how can you stop that impulse spending? Use the 30-day rule to get your spending under control. The 30-day rule tells you to take the money you are going to spend on an impulse buy and save it in a savings account instead for 30 days. New clothes? No. Concert tickets? No. Are those shoes on sale? Still no. But if you still want to buy that item after the 30-day period is up, go for it. Otherwise, the money stays in your savings account or it goes into your emergency fund. This will help you overcome impulse spending and boost savings over time. The following four steps will help you start implementing the 30-day rule into your life. Number one, stop yourself before you buy. Imagine you're walking through the store and you find a gorgeous dress that would look great with the high heels in your closet. Even though you already know that you have many perfectly good dresses there. Now, before you put that dress in your car, stop. And if it's already in your car, take it out. Return the item to the store. Take a picture of it, the product info, and the price with your smartphone and leave. Number two, record your information about the impulse buy. Start a record, either in a note on your phone or on a piece of paper at home, about the item you're interested in. In this case, it would be the dress. Your listing should include the price of the dress, a written description or a photo of the item, the name of the store where you found it. Number three, wait and research the item. Do not take any action on the impulse item for 30 days. Instead, wait it out. You can look on websites of other stores to see if anyone has it cheaper and to read reviews of the item. You can also research future sales at the store where the item, in this case the dress, is sold. Number four, when 30 days are up, decide if you still want the item. Once you've had a month to ponder whether you actually need the item, it's time to make your decision. If you still believe that dress would look great with the high heels in your closet and that you must have it, then go ahead and buy it, as long as you can afford to pay for it right away. If you no longer feel quite as excited about the item, then skip it. You may find that you forget about the item entirely after the 30 days, saving you money. Delaying your purchases by 30 days gives you time to consider whether it's something you really do need or whether in reality it's just a want and whether you want it enough to still buy it when it's no longer an impulse purchase but a well-considered delayed purchase. Of course, not every scenario will fit neatly into the 30-day rule parameters, but it's a good rule to live by when your goal is a better financial future for you and your family. And there you have it, the 30-day rule to get your spending under control. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you are notified every time we upload a video to help you save more, earn more, and enjoy more. Thank you for watching and have a great day.